It is the big day. The big day we go to town and get supplies for the bathroom remodel. Mrs. W, you are looking stunning. Is that a new dress? <laughs> My parents got it for me for Christmas. Very beautiful. And Jack? Thank you. Jack is one of those people that's going to be very successful who wears the same outfit every day. He likes it. Except for I'm wearing these dreadful boots. Did you know that people like Steve Jobs and uh, who, is it? who else is it? Some other titans of industry that wear the same outfit. Zuckerberg? I don't know if those are good examples. <laughs> we hope he's better than that, right? <laughs> All right, so it's 28 degrees uh, and it's snowing. Poor Heart Racer is going to have to stay out on the porch all day while we're gone, but hopefully we'll be back soon. Tactical clogs are not great for snow. So we got our tree up very late this year, and so I was trying to justify keeping the tree up, and my mother was doing exactly the same thing. So she emailed me today and said that in Sweden, uh, Christmas is one month from Santa Lucia to Knutdagen, and Knutdagen is the 13th of January, so our tree will be up just a little bit longer. There you have it. Sweden, there you have it. Sweden gives us permission. For the win. <laughs> Did you check to see if her hands were warm? Oh, they're so cold. Cody. She's not wearing gloves. Go take her out there without her pits on. We lucked out, Mrs. W. What? Kohler. Kohler. Who takes you out on a good time? Here, you want to you want to load those up? I I can't be bothered. I'm holding the camera. <laughs> Sweet loaf. Safety first. Your mama belts you in, huh? What? Did you drop something? What happened? Cracker. <laughs> Did you get it? You got a cookie. I'll bet she doesn't uh owe -oh that. All right, let me show you what we're gonna get here. So, not our, it's not our favorite flooring, um, but Corinne, my sister, just put this in some of her rentals, and it looked really, really nice. So it's just kind of a basically a engineered scraped oak. And, we and, need and why are we doing this instead of? From our yard. We're on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a budget of time and money. So Re this, reality has set in. Yeah, it comes out to $2 a foot, so it's pretty hard to beat. It's really a nice floor. So we just need 40 boxes. Where's Jack? <laughs> so I don't want to spend too much, but I also want one that keeps working, unlike some of our other faucets. Yeah, that's actually, that looks pretty smart. Yeah, let's go with it. Upstairs and downstairs, or just upstairs? Oh uh, yeah, let's get two. That's a really a good price. I love Costco. Do you, do you like the handles on these? I can live with them. Yeah, I think they look, look they look nice. Okay. Only how many left? 35 boxes left? Uh, Jack's counting. <laughs> Dig deep, Jack. It's heavy, isn't it? Well, you're just going slow. That's the issue. You make it two trips today. <laughs> yeah, let me, uh, let me wait until I get the flooring in. I'll see how much room I have. But we can get the rest of it. So thanks for your help. Where's your strong son? There he is. Oh, he's helping. I thought this was a cargo van. What happened? 
Why don't you wait before I'm done? I'll get it all in here, I promise. <laughs> but this is only the first stop. And we won't be even close to overloading. <laughs> Will we? <laughs> Ikea, where women go to nest. Perfect, I kept my own personal parking spot open. I've got lithium, right? I wanted to make a clarification on something I said in yesterday's video. I, it, I, what I said was not what I meant, and um, some people pointed that out to me, and I, well, I just get nervous, and <laughs> I get nervous in front of the camera. You wouldn't think so after so many years, but try it yourself and see. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's not like, you know, the funny thing, it'd be one thing if you were talking live, right? And what you say, you know, it goes out and it can never be brought back. I mean, you have the edit, right? But it's still, it's just, I don't know, it's the way it is. Just the way that we're made. Uh, and so what I mentioned was some of the independent news sources that I was referring to, uh, what I mistakenly said was that they don't have an agenda. That was not what I meant to say. What I meant to say was, you know their agenda, or they're, they, they do have an agenda. We all have agendas, uh, but, they're agen but they're forthright with them. They'll, you know, they'll, they'll admit, I'm a, a right-wing conservative, or I'm a, um, a left-wing or left-leaning progressive, whatever. When some, if someone is clear... Uh, in their their slant or where, whatever their politics, uh, I could admire that, even if I disagree with it. Uh, the thing that I don't like and what you don't get from the mainstream media is sincerity. Uh, portraying themselves to be a particular way, but having an alternative or an ulterior motive uh, that is dishonest. That's what I meant. So uh, I didn't mean to, did, I did not mean that at all. Uh, so I wanted to clarify that uh, so that we were all clear. All right. So as I said, uh, the, uh, loading up the family here, it is what, Friday at uh, about nine o'clock. Uh, we're going to pick up the tub, tub and then uh, we're going to jump into it. So Monday is the big day where we're really going to push and start doing it. Um, Mrs. Debbie's picking out the tile. Actually, I might just bring the camera uh, with, with us and uh, we can show you some things. We found a really great tub. We were researching tubs uh, for the bathroom and uh, we have kind of an oddball size because it's it's not a standard size. When you ever, whenever you start going with non-standard size items uh, that's not that are not found in typical houses, they get expensive. Um, and we found uh, a nice steel porcelain tub uh, at Home Depot of all places for around two hundred dollars. So haven't seen the quality yet. We're going to go look at it. It has good reviews, but uh, that's great. Uh, that's a, a fraction of the cost. So we're trying to do this on a budget. We're going to be doing some tile work. Uh, you just can't go wrong with subway tiles. It's just classic. One thing that I've learned. Uh, is that when you're doing your finishes, when you're picking out the things like flooring or tile or appliances, really go classic with those things because they're difficult to change. So you can have a, if you look at a bathroom that was built in the 20s or 30s with the beautiful subway tiles, often the white and black and the hexagon tile floors, they still look as beautiful today as they did versus what was done in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and even today. So stick with the classics with those hard finishes, um, tubs and such, keep them as plain as possible. Um, and if you wanna add a little color or change things, do it with, with um, um, towels, <laughs> towels or uh, uh, pictures or whatever, but keep it classic and uh, it'll look good for a long, long time. So that's what we are going for. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and comment if you enjoyed these videos. I know there wasn't a whole lot of content in today's video, but we have been just, there's so much preparation running around, rushing around, trying to get everything done and uh, um, so that we can, we can get going. So I promise we'll, we'll get going here really soon. So we appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your understanding. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Sweet Lo, can you give him a hug? Was that a hug?
Yep.